this file has uh, stayed at my desk since it happened. Now at six, double murder investigators are in Warren are taking another look at a crime that dates back to 2014. So far, no one is charged with the crime, but investigators are hoping someone will come forward with information. Here's 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley. Up until recently, a home set on this empty lot on Ivanhoe Street Northeast in Warren. But on October 24th of 2014, firefighters came across a murder scene. And then it appeared the house had been then set on fire in an attempt to destroy and cover uh, any evidence that may be there. Sophie Steffick and Charles McNear were both found shot to death in the living room. When you heard that there was a murder there, did it scare you at all? Yeah. Because that's hitting close to home. Investigators believe more than one person was involved in the crime and that they used flammable liquid to set the house on fire, with spots of origin in the front and the back of the house. It's been almost four years since that night. The case has been dormant for a little while. Uh, we had exhausted our, our leads and uh, information. Still, no arrests have been made in this case, but detectives tell me some new information is causing them to take another look at this case. Now they're hoping someone might remember something and come forward, helping them prove their case. A lot of times they're solved. We know who and we know why. Proving it's another matter. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.